Did the Eagles know they had something big with their debut album in 1972? Well, we asked one of their songwriters, Jack Temchin. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Street Music. The Eagles came in with a force in 1972 with their self-titled debut album. It had three hits, Take It Easy, which peaked at number 12, Witchy Woman, a number nine hit, and Peaceful Easy Feeling, which hit number 22. It was written by our guest, Jack Temchin, who went on to co-write another four Eagles songs, including Already Gone from On the Border in 1974. The guys in the band, you think they knew they had something then? Because that's such a strong debut album. I think they did. But even before he put the band together, his vision was to have the best band in the world. That's why he called it the Eagles, the fly above. And the way he was going to do it, because we talked about it, you know, he said, I'm going to get the best singers that there are, the best players. I'm going to get the best songwriters. Now, everybody puts a band together, and they don't necessarily think that. So when, when he found these great guys, I mean, he had a band where everyone could sing the lead vocal on a hit song. They were all incredible vocalists, as well as being incredible players, and he had incredible writers. Uh, so I think they must have they must have known how great it was. Jack, when's the, the, your next album coming out? It's probably going to be July. In June, I'm going to go to the award ceremony for the Songwriter Hall of Fame, and then I think the record's going to come out shortly after that. You're such a good lesson in, you know what, there's always something around the corner. Because I have so many friends who are, like I said, they're, they're, they're my age and they're going, oh, well, I'm looking at retirement and I'm a broadcaster. I'm, going, I'm not retiring. My voice is actually sounding better than it's ever sounded. And Me too. And I'm just like you. And I'm going, man, it's exciting. And then, uh, you know, I was fortunate enough to have a, a record label that put out four albums for me. But then I've moved on now. And, and so I was in the middle of making this album and I got signed to Mailboat Records, which is Jimmy Buffett's label. So that just happened about two months ago. So now I'm 71 years old. And I have a brand new album that I think is the best thing that I ever did. And also I've got a brand new record label. <laughs> so I'm going, man, this is incredible because without all this, I'd be sitting around. I'd still be writing a lot of songs. They'd just be going into a drawer in my room. No one would ever hear them. And that's just not for me. You know, it's not that wouldn't make me happy. So uh, I'm just thrilled to still be doing it. You know, it's not over. It's not over till it's over. I, I want to suck the last minute out of life that I can <laughs> and get the most out of every bit of it. You know, what I mean? <laughs> and, uh, they say, oh, it's a billion to one. You can't. Oh, you're too old. You're too this. You're too that. Well, you know what? It's always been a billion to one. Everything we've ever done, the chances of us being able to do it. Hey, don't think about that. You just do it, you know. We'll have more of our conversation with Jack coming up next week. Go to jacktemption.com. I'm John Bowden. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Street Music. Mm -hmm.